Also new tonight, downtown Escanaba is trying to make trick-or-treating more inclusive. Ludington Street was taken over by a spooktacular trunk-or-treat event. TV success Kata Minas takes a look at what this does for the city. While it's still nine days away, as you can see, downtown Escanaba is already getting into the Halloween spirit. If you happen to be on Ludington Street today, you may have seen a unique twist to the treats that were handed out. Event coordinator Samantha Godino says toys were handed out alongside regular candy. This trunk or treat event is for the Teal Pumpkin Project. It is for kids with food allergies, diabetes, and other medical conditions that prevent them from enjoying the candy treats that are traditionally handed out. Adults, kids, and even dogs dressed up. There were 23 cars at the event. Godino says she saw a need in the community through her own personal experience. My son actually has a peanut allergy, so I saw the need that we needed a trunk or treat that was all inclusive. Oftentimes we weren't able to participate in those events. One attendee says her family had a great time at the trunk or treat. She says she appreciates having the option of toys instead of treats. Not everyone wants to give their kid a bunch of candy, so it's nice having alternatives at the events. I try to be very aware if someone does have an allergy, so it's really nice that the community can also bring the awareness to, for that as well. Godino says she would like to bring this trunk or treat event back. She hopes to see it become larger and spookier next year. Caden Minus, TV6 News, Escanaba.